Hey, hey, opposing good morning, everyone. This is Sports Mad News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the first of a three-set video as Logan O'Hoppy, Bryson Stott, and Damon Jones made the Arizona Fall League All-Star Game for having fantastic starts to their season down there for our Philadelphia Phillies as prospects. And we're going to start off with the great Bryson Stott, who Dave Dombrowski pretty much made him aware already to come to spring training with the mindset of trying to win a spot on the big club for the 24-year-old, which is not an over-expectation because he rides from single A to double A all the way up to triple A, hit 299, split everywhere on the season with 16 homers and 49 RBIs and 10 stolen bases. He's a guy that's been progressing quickly, just like Logan O'Hoppy. The difference is Bryson Stott, we expected to progress this quickly as an early pick in the draft, of course, is O'Hoppy. When I get to that video, I'll talk about him. But he's a guy that's been doing exactly what you want, progressing very quickly, playing a good shortstop and a better shortstop than some scouts gave him credit for and expected him to do, being a guy that some people pegged to move to third base. He's actually been pretty consistent if he's played that position at levels and as well as playing a very good second base as well if you want him to play second and move, say, I don't know if Didi's not playing well, Gene back to shortstop. But I feel like I'm going to give him the shot to win the shortstop job and that was more just the way that the positioning was in the minors, that he was playing second base and getting experience there because it also makes you more versatile, as we see, which is a great thing to have for someone like you were seeing Marcus Simeon on the market being a guy that might get paid a lot more money because he plays a good shortstop now but also plays a stellar second base. So that's an example there. So it's always good to have versatility. But let's get into it for what Stott's doing in the Arizona Fall League. The 14th overall pick in the 2019 draft is hitting 299, 446, and 403 is a slash line. He leads the team in RBIs with 21 and has the AFL leading, the Arizona Fall League leading when he walks. So he definitely deserves to be in this spot. He's playing a good shortstop. He's already showed the ability to play a very good second base. He's made himself versatile this season. He's rose through the ranks very quickly. And it seemed like from listening to Dave Dombrowski's presser that he's prioritizing getting outfield help and building the outfield around Bryce Harper for a lineup since we have Alec Bohm in our infield and Reese Hoskins when they're back and hitting. And I think Bohm will have a bounce back season next year. And you have Gene Segura coming off of a very good season. Stott has every chance to win that spot next year at shortstop and start developing right in his prime years. Just hit them. Being at 24, being a quick riser, being a guy you pick out of college expecting to be a quick riser, and the Phillies hit on this one, it seems, and he's doing very well. He's continuing to progress, and he's continuing to prove that he is that stellar player, that the reason why he was picked so high in the draft, and is proving scouts wrong on the defensive end of the ball, too, where he's a much better defender than some people peg him to be, and a guy that I think can be a shortstop, just like some people peg Corey Seager to move early in his career, which he's never done, and has been a nice steady Eddie shortstop and a guy that's going to be one of the higher paid in this free agent class. So this has been a reaction to Bryson Stott having a very hot Arizona Fall League, leading to be an Arizona Fall League All-Star after rising through the ranks three levels this season. He's doing exactly what you would want him to do, and hopefully he continues to progress because we want him on the team next year cheering for a great young star. We want to be that team that has that guy now. We've seen Atlanta. We've seen the Met. And we've seen our counterparts in the division have very fun youngsters to really get behind and cheer for when they first come up. We had a nice guy in a later round pick in Matt Veerling emerge this year that looks like he can be a nice fourth outfielder for us in the future. And a guy that rotates in and plays well when needed as well as playing first base. But we want to see a guy like Stott that can be a future all-star and the potential like that to be in our lineup. And that's exactly what it looks like he's going to be. And he's going to have every chance to make the team next year because of it. And he's earned that now making the AFL all-star team after having a stellar season last season in the minor. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been Sports Fan News. The reaction to Bryson Stott making the Arizona Fall League team subscribe up at the easy-to-use widget or down below on the subscribe button to keep us going and growing. Appreciate you all. And also check out, if you're Flyers fans as well, Flyers and the Gritty and Steel Flyers for overall sports coverage. They do great stuff over there as well. Peace out, everybody.